Jason, seconds away from, from a job very well done. Um, how did you feel after that? that well, race, the lads are gutted in there. We, we were so comfortable in the game and they didn't create anything. It just took a wonder goal with 20 seconds to go to, obviously, get a draw. So the lads are always a bit down, but we're going to have to just regroup and go again. Yeah, you, on Saturday you played very well, but ended up having to defend at the end and, you know, a bit of a nervy at the end of the day. You probably, do you feel like you should have maybe scored a couple more before? So it wasn't, you we weren't hanging we, on at the end? Uh, there's a couple of errors before the goal where we should have seen the game out and been more professional, but obviously these, these errors have cost us and obviously we've conceded right at the death. Yeah, four points from six isn't, isn't a bad return there. What have you made of your first two appearances for Cheltenham? Oh yeah, it's obviously on a personal level it's been a it's been a decent start from us obviously. It's disappointing to drop two points tonight, but could be vital come end of the season this point. Yeah, they're not a side that look like they're struggling, are they, Rovers? They've obviously had a bad start but they're they're on the up and they, they didn't like a side near the bottom of the table tonight, did they? Oh no, since uh, John Wall's come in they've were won the last three and obviously drew tonight, so the form says it all at the minute. Yeah, what's it like playing in there, in there with Russ, uh, Russ Penn the last couple of games? Yeah, it's been good. I feel like we're getting a good uh, understanding and hopefully things can only get better between us. Yeah, the manager said he was lost for words after what happened at the end and he said you might need to lift him up a bit because obviously he, he was he thought you were on course to get the three points. So what, what was it like in the dressing room after the game? <sighs> Felt like a defeat, but obviously uh, we'll pick ourselves up. We're disappointed now. We'll just have to go again Thursday and uh, hopefully go to Dagenham and get the win. Yeah, what's it like in there in terms of the new players coming in? Is everyone everyone settled in quickly? And, and to yeah. be fair, the the lads, all the lads out with here, have welcomed all the new lads in. So, from my point of view, it's been I've settled in nice and easy, and I think all the other lads have too. Yeah, and you certainly made yourself heard with you know, shouting and organising. Is that something you've always prided yourself on doing? Uh, yeah, I'd say it's probably one of my strengths in my game. Obviously, I mean, uh, I'm a little bit different to other players. Uh, play to your strengths. Yeah, two difficult away games now, long trips and um, both over towards the other side of London, but is that what, you, what sort of games that you look forward to playing in? Yeah, all games now, we just need to win as many games as possible, get as many points as the board, if we look after ourselves, hopefully the league looks after itself. And yeah, what, what do you think of the main positives from tonight, even though you're disappointed about what happened right at the end? We've defended very well tonight, it's, it's obviously took a wonder goal to obviously get them to get a point uh, so obviously we defended well we need to be more ruthless and obviously a bit more wise because we should have killed the game off uh, with a couple of like free kicks and wasting time and stuff near the end yeah their managers back to you for automatic promotion do you think from what you've seen albeit playing against Chatham once and playing for them twice you know do you think you, you can get the job finished now with 16 games to go uh, obviously it's a massive 16 game it's up for grabs we're in the mix it's whoever takes the ball by the arms and hopefully we're the team that does it. Yeah, brilliant.